Hey guys, welcome to game two between Rancor and Bug. Upper rank one, we have Bug. Actually, let's switch the colors. Nope, we're gonna keep them the colors they were. Upper right hand corner, we have Bug starting as the blue Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the red Zerg. Game one going to Rancor in a commanding fashion just because of build order loss. Bug maybe feeling a little bit intimidated in the matchup because, <laughs> calling Ling strong, because he did end up losing the first series. So perhaps he was looking to try to sneak some sort of advantage. And then after that, just getting, yeah. I'm not sure if if Rancor was like, okay, I know that Bug likes playing cheesy or if he was just like, you know what, I'm going to open up nine pool to avoid. But whatever, it ended up paying off. You see a pylon, a forward pylon. Here for Bug this time. And I'm wondering if he's going to opt for Forge first after what happened last match. This time we're seeing an Overlord opener for Rancor. His Overlord is headed towards Bug's base, so he is going to get that initial scout, which will save him maybe, depending on timing, at least a drone scout. And I'm wondering if he's going to follow, if he's going to do 12 pool. Bug also doing that initial early scouting because he doesn't want to get, I think he, he wants to, having initial probe scout inside your opponent's base, PVT, PVT, PVZ, is huge. It just opens up a lot of possibilities for you. This time he is opening up Forge rather than Gateway. And whether he places that cannon, really he should place that cannon after game one, but it looks like he does want to get that additional probe scout. He still wants to know what he's up against as far as decision-making Nexus versus cannon to start. Spawning pool about halfway finished. This was an over pool. Probe moving out to that natural expansion to go ahead and plop down. Once this probe gets in here, looking at the timing, you can kind of tell by like the morph status of the hatchery as to when it was placed, because usually it'll be like the bigger thing, I believe, on a 12 hatch. So, but point being, he should be able to wander down, plop that cannon immediately. Yep. Has that cannon, is going to follow this up with the nexus of his own, and should be safe. So at least this time, we are not going to see just a straight obliteration. Only a pair of Zerglings being built by Rancor. Probe at least able to get some initial damage and get that early scouting information. Overlord hovering over Bug's natural expansion. So scouting information, Slight scouting information advantage for Rancor, at least in the aspect that he doesn't need to send that drone out. Probe hovering nearby to do the follow-up. Extractor now up for Bug. And we'll see that. So just standard early game. Gateway to seal this off on the front. But if I, honestly, if I was Bug, interesting enough, the Zerglings feel like they, the, these Zerglings look like they've lost track of that probe. He had one job, Zerglings. Looking at that upper right hand corner, but the probe, yeah, just hanging out here. Rancor moving out to go ahead and drop that third hatchery. We are seeing three hatch play. Just plopping it inside of his base. Now the question is, is are we going to see that three hatch Hydra build? Which honestly I haven't seen out of a lot of other players. I'm wondering if that's just new meta or if that's just a Rancor thing. More often what I've seen is, again, that what current meta, 973. Um, or when you see these early three hatches, more oftentimes three hatch mutilisk does get that initial probe kill so that third hatch was spotted but keep in mind this also keeps bug in the dark comparatively we're seeing a creep colony interestingly enough right off the bat huh kind of a preemptive creep colony curious what that's about perhaps opting to so he's going heidelstein he just wants to deny the information i believe so getting a creep colony down i think this is mostly just so he doesn't have to expend additional units to just deny that scout. He wants to keep Bug in the dark. Which suggests to me that potentially, I don't know, potentially we're going to see a bus situation. Probe gets wiped out. Does see that third hatchery on that front door. Is getting his first zealot out initially. Second cannon plopping down. We do see that cybernetics core up. Now, I believe it's going to be critical for Bug here to go ahead and get that Stargate. Go ahead and get that Corsair. He is starting to move forward with that zealot. I'm wondering if he's just going to shove the Zealot in to try to get eyes in this base. And if he's going to want to try to spot a Hydralis. Hydralis speed is upgrading. So it looks like it is going to be three hatch Hydra. Similar build to the first match. Second gas being grabbed from Bug. So he's going to go... No, skipping. Citadel of Adun, no Stargate. Wants to just move into Templar tech. As far as a follow-up. The Zealot just running across. Now backing off. 
it's going to get wiped out by those Zerglings. I think he was hoping to see a lair there, potentially, or at least some Tier 2 units, potentially. Otherwise, I'm a little confused as far as that Delt's purpose and the angle it took. Maybe just a little bit of Miss Micro there on Bug's part. The Zerglings being led off at least out of position, and he's at least able to check that third base to see if there's a, a fourth hatchery taken. But in the interim, now a Stargate being dropped. Interesting. Yeah, because of that lack of scout, so I believe that Zelt, yeah, was there to try to check for a scout. Now he feels a little bit less comfortable as far as what's going on. So dropping a preventative cannon just in case there were Mutalisks in his front. Range is being upgraded, so this is going to be either Hydralisk contain or Hydralisk all in off three bases. Stargate will be up momentarily to get that Corsair, but by that time the Corsair is floating out there, I believe we're already going to see Hydralisks that are sitting on this front door. Zelt leg speed being upgraded. So Bug trying to shift this back, and it feels like... I, th I think he wants to shift this back and towards more of like a, a plus one seven minute timing, but th with the Zealots that he's produced at this stage, he just doesn't have... And also the damage he's taken on the Zealots he, he has currently, he's just really going to be pinned in. So honestly, I feel like this is very much going into Rancor's favor one direction or another, although losing two Zerglings there initially on the front, taking a little bit of damage on that third. Now the Hydral is grouping in. Corsair is moving across just in time to see those Hydralists. Zealot's getting picked off, and I don't think that Rancor has enough to defend this. He needs to drop cannons now and pull probes, and I think it might be too late. It is too late. Hydralists pulling back to do additional damage against these probes. The cannons actually canceled, and I is this just Bug resigned to his fate? Yeah, just giving up. Good luck in next round. So I got to say... Well played on Rancor's part, specifically denying information to Bug, keeping Bug in the dark. Feel like Bug made a large mistake going for that Citadel of Adun before Stargate. And also just, yeah, trying to use that first Zealot to get the scouting information that he was missing otherwise. So game, t so quick two matches. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Congratulations to, to Rancor. He will move on to the round of eight. Thanks for listening.